Hey everyone, I hope you are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen one project, calculator project. That was our sixth project in the series. Right? Now, we are discussing in this video a very simple topic but it's crucial one. That is what is local scope and global scope. Right? I hope if you have, you know, you have done many other programming language like C, C++ or Java, you have heard these things, local scope, global scope, block scope, namespaces and all. Right? So mainly in this video we will be discussing local versus global scope as well as block scope. Right? Three things. Fine? Now before moving to this concept, let me just tell you one story. Okay? So during my schooling days, we used to, you know, go out to play and there was a house or you can say house plus garden. So in that garden, like there were two rooms, one or two rooms and there in this area they were having multiple trees so one tree is of like those fruits i don't know what you call them but we used to call them bear small fruits the ripe one as are red one and sweet taste and the green one as unripe green one are unripe and with sour taste so one tree was inside inside this boundary i mean inside their house and no one was allowed to enter and you can say pluck fruits from this tree, right? Those bear. And one only the family members can, you know, eat those fruits from this tree. And one, the same tree was at this boundary. So we used to go to this tree like and uh, pluck those fruits from this tree, either using some stick or throw stones and something like this. And so see, from this tree, anyone was allowed to pluck those fruits, right? Pick fruits from this tree. But no one was, no outsider was allowed to enter in this house and you can say like pick fruits from this tree, from this one. Yeah, we used to do this thing like uh, we were checking like if there is nobody in the house, then quickly we enter in the house and whatever fruits are falling from the tree on the ground we used to pick and quickly uh, run but that was a different story legally no one was allowed to enter and pick fruits from that tree right so see why i am telling you this story so what we can see in terms of programming this tree is having local scope this is local to these members like the fa only family members are allowed to pick fruits from this tree and this tree was having global scope so this is global anyone was allowed to pick fruits from this tree same in programming also we are having this thing right so in programming we used we used to declare some variables with some names and we used to declare functions where we will have classes and many other things right so in functions variables classes are having their own name right so now you understand the scope of the name or the variable in your code depends on where depends on what depends on the place where you create that variable so means see the scope of this tree is local and scope of this tree is global why so because only the difference is tree is same fruits are also same the place where the trees are you can say harvested something like this right so scope is simply that thing the area in which you can use those variables or you can say those names or functions or those classes right let me just do this thing with the help of a program let's take one example i hope general idea you got what is local scope what is global scope with the help of this example so let's define a function suppose i am defining a function simply display and within this display function, I'm having a variable a is equal to 10. And I'm just printing this a. And we are calling this, this one. So see, this you can say this is boundary. So this is you can say home for this a. Only the members or the family members of this function only can use this variable a. Means this a is having local scope. Within this function only you can use this A. If you want to print this A outside. Outside of this house. 
then it will throw an error right because this a is having local scope if outside of any function in the main body of the python code if you are declaring a variable a is equal to 10 now this variable is having global scope this is global variable so now this will print 10 and this will print also 10 suppose let's differentiate it it is 15 so this will print 15 and this will print 10 right I hope in programming, in terms of programming also you got the difference between local and global scope, right? Okay, it will be more clear, more clear to you guys when we take an example. So, let's do practical. Okay, so let's create a new file here. Scope of variable load, py. Now, we take first of all a global variable, right? So, this variable, the variable you define in this scope, the global scope is available in all your code, throughout your code, right? And this variable is created outside of any function or anything in the main body of the Python, Python code. So this is having global scope. Now we are defining a function. Suppose this the function name is display. We are not passing anything. And within this also I am having the same variable name a, but the value is 15. So I am going to print a here, right? And let's call this display. So let's run this, which, which value would be printed for this a? This a is within this function because this is indented, the intent, indented block. This is what? A function block. So this a is having, this variable is having, we can say, local scope. And this a is outside of any function, then this is having global scope. Now let's run this and see what output you will get here. It's 15, right? So this A, first of all, it will search if there is any local variable A, yes. So it will print 15. But if, suppose, we are not having this A. I'm just printing A here. So is it possible for this function to access the global variable? Yes, it is possible. Let's run this. C, 10. So a global variable, the global variable or the variable which is having global scope, that can be accessed from within the function as well. And now if we comment out this A and we are having this A only, right? And I want to print A outside also, right? So I'm not having this A, I'm on A, I'm having A only within this function. So this is having local scope. Let's run this. See. First of all, a name error, name A is not defined in line number 6. In line number 6, this A is not defined. Because this A is outside of this function. We are accessing this A outside of this function. So, it cannot access the local variable. The variable which is, which is having local scope. It will search for a variable A having global scope. But there is no variable. So, it will give a name error. But this A would be printed 15 as Python is an interpreted language. So line by line, it will be executed, right? So first display, right? Then obviously it will print. This is same, but the, uh, the error is in this line only. So in this line, it will print error and 15 would be displayed. I hope now you got what is the difference between global and local scope, right? So, but the thing is, if within this, one more thing, if we are having a nested function, suppose I'm having one more function, show but this within this display function right and here i am printing this print a and i am calling display so what do you think it will give an error or because within this function i am not you can say declaring any variable a outside of this function i am having a variable a right so what it will access, this A or this A? Let's see. Okay, so it is printing only 10. I mean, this print is executed because this print is not been executed because we are not calling this show function. We are calling only display, right? So to make this happen, to print this A, you have to call this function show, right? Okay, let's uh, update this thing. So within this display function only, Within this display only, you have to call this show function because this show is local to this display, 
right let's run this now let's comment out this line see it is printing 15 because this a will access first of all it will see within this function there is is there any local a no then next this function is within this function so it will search is there any a within this function yes a is 15 so it will print this if you comment out this line then it will search if there is any global a so it will print 10 right and directly you cannot call this show here right outside of this display we cannot call this show i'm calling this outside of this display this this uh, blog let's run this it will give you error see the name show is not defined so you can call this show function within this display only because this is local to this this display right so whatever you will define within this display function whether it's a class or a function or a variable you can use that thing within this display only right like this a this a within this display or with this show function within this display only so the show is also having local scope right now one more thing we have a bloke scope but in python there is no such scope in other languages like c c++ if if we write down something like this if we write down any if or for or while loop then those are also having their scope that is known as bloke scope whatever you will write within that for loop any variable then that variables are having block scope right or within any if else if statement also you define declare any variable that also having block scope but in python there is no such scope only local and global let me just clear this thing with the help of an example suppose uh, any simple example we can take i am having two variable five and six so the condition I am putting like if a less than b, then c is equal to a plus b, right? And outside of this, if I am printing the c, see, this a and b, these variables are having global scope. It's okay. We can use these variables in throughout our code, right? But the c is within this if. So maybe you are thinking the c is having block scope as this is having like in other languages. So the C we can use only within this if block, not outside of this if. So this print will give error. But no, let's run this. It will print 11. Right? So there is no block scope. Whatever you will write, like uh, within this if or for loop, while loop, those variables are, if you are using this if, while or for loop within a function, then obviously those variables are local to that function, local scope. But if you are using if something like this, not within any function, simply in, in your program. So the C is having a, this variable is having local, global scope. You can use this throughout the code. So there is no block scope in Python. Is it clear? But see, if you use something like this, if I say this, this if a, this is within this display function. And now you want to print this C here. Now let's see. It will give error. This name C is not defined. Because now the C is local to this function. Now the C is having local scope. Right? So it depends in which you are using this if for or while loop. If within a function, then obviously those variables are having local scope to that function. If not inside the function, then they, they are having global scope. So I hope the basics or you can say it's clear to you guys local scope global scope and block scope right and why basically the this concept the scope concept or you can say basically this is what namespaces right so that thing we'll be discussing in a separate video what is a namespace different types of namespace why you need namespace right so maybe next video we'll be discussing this thing so now i'll see the next video till then bye take care